start buying a school bus. I could do the typical, you know, but I'm not going to. Vlogging and driving a stick is not an easy thing to do. Let me uh, get to where I get stop. So I've been driving uh, Rhonda, the Ranger, for going on, this is the second week straight. So I drove her all last week. She didn't have any problems. Well, not true. Two, Wednesday, when I got home, she didn't want to run for some reason. And it was because the vacuum hoses that I had installed more than likely improperly uh, did not want to hold. So, yeah. Whoa, where are you going? She's not the easiest vehicle to vlog in, but she is so much fun to drive. I seriously am in love with driving an older vehicle. And it gets loud in here! Got some exhaust leaks, I'll be honest. Looking at several, we're looking at several hours later after work, and there's a road up here that's a four wheel drive trail that I've been wanting to try. I just don't know if I should. I'm gonna try, why not? that I would just decide to take a road and find this giant field full of water too. I'm standing in a ton of water. Look at this view. Oh my gosh. Oh, totally worth driving up here. So, let me tell you, let me review something really real quick. Reasons you need an old vehicle. Three reasons. One, you get an old vehicle, they just look cool. I mean, how many times have you seen a new truck look this cool. Looking, looking, looking good. Two, if you get them old enough, you can get away with just about anything. 35 years in North Carolina, 35 years, you don't have to make inspections yet, so I can get away with doing crap like that. That's not legal. And three, when Skynet takes over, ain't no computer in this thing to shut down. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get out of here before I run out of gas or something. <laughs> Also a good thing about driving an old vehicle is you don't care about the paint job. Oh, 